Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So, unfortunately, if you remember, um, my tailless whip scorpion I was showing you in videos before. Very unfortunate, the specimen has passed away. I don't know what the cause of that was. It was, of course, wild caught, as most tailless whip scorpions are, so it could have been something there. Because really, the day I got it, or sorry, the, the day it died, she was walking around her enclosure at night eating. She even caught and ate a cricket, so I don't know what was wrong. But um, that didn't stop me. I want to learn from my mistake, and I'm really committed to getting into this species or this type of animal. So I don't know if these are diadema, or I don't know if these are Damon diademas, but uh, I saw that Port Credit Pets actually had some captive bred babies. So I went ahead and bought four. The dealing was wonderful. Um, I uh, I received four specimens. They came in prime shape. They were delivered in my house for only ten dollars from there. It was pretty sweet. And one of them is on my finger right now, so I'll show you. They're pretty small. So here they are. This is one specimen. One of the little guys. Just chilling. And uh, yeah, so I'm just rehousing them right now. This is how they came. They were pretty healthy, looking great. So they're definitely going to be on pinhead crickets for quite some time. But uh, yeah, it'll be pretty awesome. Anyway, so I'm going to start rehousing them and then I made it my own soil mix here. There's a bit of peat moss and some potting mix there. Without any fertilizer or anything, I moisten it, so I'm going to put it on that instead of the wood chips. But other than that, it should be pretty cool. Okay guys, I'll show you what it looks like after. So here are the little guys. One, two, three, and the fourth is just back there. I'm just going to leave them there, watch them, make sure there's no cannibalizing. That is totally not allowed. And uh, I'm going to set them up a little something like this. Here they are. Have a few little thin heads in the enclosure. Truth is, I'd really prefer if I could uh, put them in small, like, vertical vials with a branch and or a piece of bark. But uh, I don't have that right now, so. I'm just going to keep them in the containers they came in for now. They all have a piece of wood that they can hang upside down on if they need to molt or whatnot. So, and uh, I put a pinhead in each container because fortunately one of them for some reason had like five pinheads in the enclosure so it's pretty sweet. I can make sure that they all have a pinhead in the enclosure so they can eat if they're hungry until I can get more crickets. So here's one. Before I close the lids, here's the second one exploring, and then the third one, you can see his uh, legs are there, he's just on the edge, chilling there. And the last one is over here. Okay, let's try and get a nice close up on one of them, that'd be cool. There you go. These are very cool animals. Obviously you can tell I'm quite into them now because uh, shortly after mine passing away I quickly made arrangements to acquire more and not make the same mistake. So again, the ones I got are cat bread so they should have a pretty good chance of making it. It'd be more hardy. They shouldn't have parasites. Hopefully they're gonna make it. Mm, hey, four. By the time they're adults, we can start a breeding project because these aren't very common in Canada, obviously, if all of them are wild caught. So, thanks for watching, guys. Poor Credit Pets. In this case, this was a 100% positive review. They're healthy, nice little animals. I'd recommend them. I haven't been in their personal facility, but I've seen them at shows and they have quite a variety of different animals. But uh, in my experience here, I'm very pleased with what I received. Thank you very much.